Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Village Upgrade series. In today's episode, we are going to upgrade the Armorer's House. The Village Upgrade series follows three basic rules. One, the dimensions and features of the upgraded buildings will be kept the same. Two, I'm using the original block palette of the Plains Village. And three, in addition, I'm going to use some basic complementing materials to add more detail. With the rules out of the way, let's start building. Let's start off with the front wall. First, we're going to move this outer pillar one block in, so we get an uneven middle, which is much easier to work with. Then we can use a combination of stone brick, cobblestone and andesite blocks to detail the wall and give it a gradient. Also, you can use oak buttons to add some more detail. Next let's get to the back wall. The back wall is the same as the front wall, but has a window instead of the door. Also we are going to change the normal glass panes to white ones and make the window two blocks high. For the side wall, we are going to keep the concept of having two windows. The rest will be the same as the back wall. On the wall with the chimney, we are first going to move back the wall one block so that it is in line with our wooden frame. For the chimney, I decided to make it overall out of bricks and texture it using granite. Also you can mix in stairs to give it an old and used look. Finally, you can fill in the walls. To add more detail to the windows, you can add window sills with flower pots on top. Also, to make use of the room we created by making the house one block smaller, we can build a canopy over our chimney. This also creates some more working space for the armorer. Now let's get to the roof. The roof is pretty simple. Just build up 4 stairs with a slab on top and then one double slab in the middle from both sides. For the roof truss, you can use stripped oak logs and separate them using trapdoors. Also, you can add a button on top for more detail and then copy it to the back side. On the side walls, the roof trim will bend a little bit more gentle. Go off once there, then a slab with a trapdoor on top, then a trapdoor with a slab on top and finally a full block in the middle. Also put again the button on top and copy it to the other side.
Next let's get to the roof itself. First connect the both ends with a full block. Also connect the side up to the middle part. And then finish it off using buttons and a trapdoor. Then fill in the roof using cobbled deep slate and following the shape of our roof trim. On the other side, leave in the gap for the chimney. For the chimney, continue to pillar it up through the roof using the brick and granite blocks. On the back side, we can hide a campfire to emit our smoke particles through the top of our chimney. To top it off, bringing the shape together to the middle and put two flower pots on top. Then you can as always put in all the greenery around the house. Finally, you can add a sign that shows who is working here and then get to the interior. The interior is as always up to you, but here are my ideas. First, I'm always preparing the space I'm working with by adding a nice floor and ceiling decoration. Then it's time to decorate. I of course implemented the chimney into my interior design and then tried to add everything the armorer could need to create his best work. And that's it for the armorer's house. I hope you could get some inspiration for your own village. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.